Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are here for Rikers two month update. All right, well this is a little Mr. Riker. Oh my gosh, she's getting so chubby and so cute. So chubby and so cute. So today Riker had his two month baby appointment and I want to share a little bit about this little man right here. Yeah, big blue eyes. So Riker was like right around 24 inches long. Um, I was not there for his appointment today. My husband brought him because I am now back from maternity leave and I'm working in the office full time. So again, he was um, 12 pounds, 9.1 ounces, and which is the 59th percentile. Um, and he was two feet, 0.41 inches, which is the 97th percentile. So he is a long, little dude he's super tall um his head circumference was 40.5 centimeters so just about 16 inches um, which is the 89th percentile and he's looking really good aren't you so he is doing pretty good he's a grown boy aren't you okay enough with my annoying mom points okay so Riker actually just got out of newborn clothes um, about a week ago and he is officially in zero to three months um, which is really bizarre for me because he is such a long baby and I don't feel like he was a tiny baby by any means as far as like weight. He was about eight and a half pounds when he was born and like I said, he's just about 13 pounds right now. So I don't feel like he was like really a tiny baby, but he just got out of newborn clothes um, and is rocking the zero to three months and he is doing really well. So I shared in one of my other videos that he is um, taking mostly breast milk and he will supplement with formula once in a while depending on how much I pump during the day. So I exclusively pump for him uh, just because I did go back to work and he's being fed from a bottle now. We were kind of prepping for that the past couple of weeks, introducing the bottle and a little man certainly loves his baba. Um, whenever I try to nurse him now, I try to do an evening nursing session with him. He just doesn't have it. Um, just because he likes to have all of his milk right now. I even tried doing um, an, a nipple shield to see if that would help with the nipple confusion. But unfortunately, little man just likes his babas. So when it comes to bottles, we like to use the Komotomo bottles. Our second favorite is the Avent Natural. I have a very unhappy um, three-year-old in the background, by the way. Um, she's just, she does not like to be quiet. So if you hear noise, that's what's going on. So a while back I did record a video for you guys for all of my newborn essentials. So I'll make sure that I link that up here for you guys so you can check that out. All of my absolute essentials. I've kind of combined like what I use for Kaya um, and then kind of feeling it out with baby boy as far as like what my favorites were and I combined them in a video. So definitely go check that video out if you want to see what my favorites are for the newborn stage. Yeah, Mr. Man, he will drink anywhere from like four to five ounces in a serving um, of breast milk. So little man is having breast milk all day long. That's what he has. And this week he has been with grandpa um, until he is ready to go to daycare. He just got his two month shots this morning. So he is all ready to go for daycare. And he is just a happy guy. He's just such an outgoing baby. And really the only time that he fusses or cries is if he needs a bottle. He's just a very happy little guy. And we've been having so much fun these first two months. I cannot believe that he is two months old. Um, yeah, he's just kind of a chunk. I'll give you guys a close up here of what he looks like. Can you say hello? Yeah. <laughs> what, who is that? The handsome boy in that camera. Wow, that's good tracking, buddy. Good tracking. Yeah, he's so cute. So like I said, he is in zero to three month clothing right now. Um, I do like to dress him in these zip up sleepers or in rompers most of the time just because it makes everything a lot easier, especially for grandpa this week. Um, I don't know, I just always gravitate towards like these one pieces for babies and I have a hard time like putting them in onesies and pants, especially when you're changing their diapers so often. Um, I don't know, this is just much easier. And then I always have um, a bandana bib on him because he does get like a little irpy from time to time. So it's just kind of nice to have something to catch that irpiness. Um, and then I always have a passy clip to his little bandana bib um, with a passy on the end. So that way we don't lose passies near as often, which is super nice. 
And let's see, as far as like sleeping through the night, he is waking up about once a night right now. He just got done with mental leap. So um, he did wake up like a couple times a night while he was going through that. He was a little bit fussier than usual. Um, but now he is just coming out of that. So he is waking up about once a night, which I feel like is very normal for a baby his age. He will sleep sometimes from about 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. And that's what I would consider to be a full night's sleep. And that makes mommy very happy when he sleeps all the way through the night. He is cooing and talking and smiling away. He absolutely loves to sit with me and coo and tell me little stories. And they're always so sweet. Yes, they are, aren't they? So his nickname right now is Puppy. And I call him Puppy because he's just so cute. I call him Puppy because when he's breathing, he sounds, it's very like, <laughs> it's like very like, <laughs> Puppy-ish? I don't know. So anyways, that's how he got the nickname Puppy. So if you guys hear me calling him Puppy in any of my videos, you know why now. He's also in size one diapers still, even though he is over 12 pounds, we're still doing just fine on the size one diapers. In fact, um, I just bought like an entire month's worth, so I hope he does okay in them for a while. Um, I don't know what I was thinking getting size one still, but oh well, we're doing just fine in them. You got a little tiny bum and a little belly. Yeah, you got a little gramp tiny butt, don't you? He loves to like try and sit up like with assistance, obviously. I'm holding him up right now. He's really good at holding his head up. Mm -hmm. Aren't you, baby boy? Aren't you? Yeah, you're so good at holding your head up. Yeah, he's just such a sweet boy. So at two months old, um, I feel like I should include just like a little bit of a postpartum update for you guys with me. Um, this is probably going to be like the last little postpartum um, update that I include for you until six months. I will do a six month postpartum video for you guys to kind of update you as far as like how my weight loss goes, things like that. As of right now, you guys know that I've lost all of the weight that I gained with him, the 42 pounds. I'm still just hanging on to a little bit of extra weight from when I had my daughter Kaya. I still had a little bit left to go before I got pregnant with Riker. So now I'm just kind of working on that and um, working on like the postpartum skin. Um, I don't have the best of genetics when it comes to like skin elasticity. So it's very much so like I'm just kind of like hanging there. But the um, product was well worth it. Mentally, I'm feeling super great. I finally feel like I'm back to myself. I had one last like major meltdown um, when it came to like my breast milk. My husband had defrosted a bag of breast milk that was in the freezer. That honestly, like you guys, I've been struggling with my supply, trying to make like just barely enough for him to have during the day. And my husband defrosted one of these bags that I had been saving for the for, for his like first day away from me, and I just melted down. Kind of chatted about this in one of my previous videos. I think it was a day in my life for 24 hours with a baby. I had to take a step back and like really analyze my mental health, and I just. I had to be more okay with formula supplementation. It was really, really hard for me to give him his first formula bottle, and um, I had to tell myself that it's okay if I'm not producing enough. Um, I'm doing my very best, and any breast milk that he is getting is amazing, and that I'm doing a great job no matter what I'm feeding him, formula or breast milk. With that said, I'm working really hard on a detailed video for you guys in regards to exclusively pumping, increasing my supply, etc. I've got a plethora of product that came in today um, from Amazon that I'm experimenting with to see if that will help really boost my supply. Right now, I've been doing fairly well. This is this was my third day back to work, um, and I'm pumping every two to three hours in the office. And today, for example, um, my morning pump, I produced about seven ounces. My second uh, morning pump, I produced 4.25 ounces. And then I was producing three ounces um, after that until about 7 p.m. So right now it's right around 7.30. Just got done pumping. And that was kind of like my saddest one. It was like 2.75 ounces. Um, and sometimes I find that he just wants to be topped off with some formula, but today he's done really well. He was perfectly fine with that um, 2.75 ounces. So when we go to bed tonight, he will have um, another, whatever I pump at that time. We do start our bedtime routine right around 8.30. Um, so I will start to pump again right around 8.30. 
um, once I like get them laid down and he will typically just hang out until I'm done with that last nighttime pumping. Um, I do have two ounces saved in the fridge from this morning's pump. I gave him five ounces of it and then I saved two of it um, so that I could combine it with the last pumping of the night. So I, I know that typically I only produce right around two ounces at the end of the day. So I like to combine it with whatever's left in the morning. Plus the milk that I produce in the morning is very much so more like skim. Um, so it's more of the foremilk and less of the hind milk. So the foremilk is going to be the less fatty milk. It almost looks like um, like a creamy watery substance. So I like to combine that four milk with more of like a heavier hind milk, which is what I get at the end of the day. So it's a really nice balance for him. It's just like a really well balanced um, breast milk that he has right at bedtime. So like I said, two ounces from this morning, two ounces combined with um, what I will pump right around 8.30. And that will be his last bottle of the day. And then he won't eat again until um, he wakes up in the middle of the night or until right around like mm, like 6.30, 7 o'clock a.m. when I'm getting them up, dressed, and then on the way to daycare. All right, I think that is going to wrap it up for a little Riker's two-month baby update. There isn't a ton that's changed from one to two months besides his stats, of course, um, and that his sleeping is improving. But yes, he's chunking up nice and good, just like we like our babies. Nice and chunky with kissable cheeks. Mm. Alrighty, I'm gonna give you guys one last really good look at him to let you see what this handsome boy looks like and so that I can look back on these precious updates and remember how tiny he was. It makes me so sad. That is like the one thing that can really bring me to tears is thinking about how fast these days do go. Look at you. You're this solid little boy, aren't ya? Yeah, can you tell him? Can you say hi? <gasps> say hi. Yeah, goo. Goo. Okay, smile. <gasps> can you smile? <laughs> He's getting crabby. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. He's starting to get a little bit fussy. I think he needs his bum changed and it's time for bed. Time for that nighttime bottle, maybe. Yeah. Yes, it's time for bed. <laughs> If you guys enjoy these baby updates on my channel, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps my videos. I would really love if you guys shared my videos on your socials, help other mamas out. I really love to share these with you guys. And like I said before, just so that I can see what he looked like when he was at this age because they grow so dang fast. Also be sure that you guys are subscribed to my channel before you go and turn on your bell notifications so that you don't miss out on any of my other future videos. And we will see you guys sometime in the very near future, as in like Sunday. Okay, bye you guys. Oh yeah, you can tell them all about it. Say this video is all about me. Big blue eyes, can you smile? Buddy, wow, those lights are pretty awesome. You're so cute. What a wonderful world.